Hi everybody, it is Mallory from MM Tool and Machinery or mmtoolparts.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the brushes in a Porter Cable 352 VS uh, belt sander. So the procedure is really quite simple. There's just one extra step than there ordinarily is. We just have to pull this cover off to access the brushes. So that's where we'll start. And then just pop that cover right off. So removing that cover is going to expose the inner components in the tool. And then you just need to find your brushes, which are always going to be adjacent to the armature, which is right here. So these are, this is your brush holders and we're just going to need to remove the brush holder screw. So we're gonna pop those off. The brush will kind of spring out of the brush holder a little bit there. We're just gonna pull it out. Do my other side as well. Then if your brush doesn't pop right out of the brush holder, you can just pry it out a little bit. Simply grab your new brushes. We'll get ready to reload those suckers. The part number here for these brushes is N030461. These brushes are under $5. I think there's something around the $4.80 zone. So it is really inexpensive to replace these parts. Then you'll simply feed the carbon block back into the brush holder. Um, the shape of the carbon does require you to kind of, see if I push it this way, it's not gonna go in. You just gotta rotate it a little bit. It'll find its way back into the housing. Then you'll smash that screw in there a little bit. Tighten the brush holder screw and that will force the carbon block up against the armature which will allow the tool to work for you. So we'll do that again on the other side. Okay, so now we will insert the new brush Just feed that spring through, hold it down. Okay, so of course that spring on the end of the brushes does make reinstalling that screw a little bit tricky, but it is simple once you get those threads lined up. Grab my screwdriver for a little extra leverage. Tighten that sucker down and our brushes are replaced. So next step is simply replacing the cover. All right, and just like that, we are all set. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks again.